Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Grain. Today we're putting in a driveway drain in a gravel drive, and you can see we've already pulled back the top the top gravel because we're going to run a trench down through here with gravel perforated pipe to help collect the water that is pooling in this driveway and also washing out the gravel. So it comes down through here. Here we run a lateral across. We'll put another lateral down there so as that water comes across that section there, it drops into the gravel perforated pipe, comes over here on the other side of the bushes, and we'll go all the way out to the street for the discharge. Okay, so we just started trenching and we found a concrete slurry that had been poured underneath of this gravel. And what we're doing is we're going to pick through there to see if we can get the trencher to get down under that and maybe the teeth of the trencher can pull it out. Well then make it bigger. So I can, I get, if I can get the trencher down in there, I might be able to rip it up. As you can see, it would take thousands of dollars worth of labor to try to pick through this concrete. But with a little ingenuity and a strong belief that you can do this, I guarantee that you can. And this could be done without raising the cost. So we started trenching and we found a layer of concrete, of course, underneath this gravel. But we're able to make some progress through here as you can see. We'll come back and clean that trench out. We'll be ready to lay our pipe. The trencher is doing a fine job of slowly digging through that concrete. Once we've completed the trench, we'll remove all of that excess soil, gravel, and concrete so we have a smooth surface to put that top base of gravel back and cover the driveway when we're finished. So here we've got a no hub bringing the driveway drain over adapting to the four inch and corrugated adapting to the PVC difficult little spot so here we have our perforated pipe you can see the holes they're going to point down in this trench we'll fill that with gravel and as the water as the water comes down this hill, it'll drop into our gravel, into the perforated pipe, and it'll get carried away over to the main line. So you can see we're back filling the trench with gravel. We've got our perforated pipe down there, holes pointing down, a little base of gravel underneath. And again, as water comes down this hill, it'll drop into this trench, and will be carried away via the discharge. Here's our completed drain. You can see we've got it backfilled with the top gravel, catch basin. Catch basin starts the line. Line runs right along this wall all the way around here. Pretty tough little install, but if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. And here's the discharge coming over. You can see the trench on this side going down the hill. Another gravel drain is right down here. It actually starts right here by my boot, runs across and you can see the trench. We still need to backfill that trench. Line goes out and all the way down to the street. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. This job had concrete underneath of the drive and you know you just have to believe. That's all I can tell you. You can do it. Have a great day.